All right, so thanks for tuning in today. So I finally started um, working back on this project. Uh, very all grown out. I'm so busy with work and doing all kind of other stuff that I just haven't been able to work on these cars. Shoot, my hands are all nice and clean and soft and supple and all this other good stuff. So yeah, now I'm gonna try to get it a little bit dirty and rough again. Today, we finally got the engine stand and I ordered a VTT uh, engine was it support bracket so instead of putting the engine stand piece from the rear you put it from the side so it seems like a whole easier method of working on the engine especially when you got to turn the crank and all this other stuff so uh yeah just gonna go ahead and start setting up the stuff so first time i set up is the vtt stand i'm gonna take that apart and see how that looks all right so open it up so the packaging is just uh this piece to keep it down secure uh this looked like this plate and I ordered some bolts along with it and then I guess this part goes into the engine stand like so or whatever but yeah that's it take this out the bubble wrap and see how it look I think they have them like in different colors so I just wanted to uh, have mine in black I didn't want nothing too shiny or fancy nothing like that maybe I could have got it in red or something but at least with the black one, if it did damage and chipped up, it don't look too bad. Now that I have it fully out with the bolts and everything, so these, some go into the engine, and these over here for these three brackets. And as you can see, you see the hole, one, two, three holes, like that. So it should look like this. And then this side goes onto the engine stand. So pretty simple to put together, I'd say. So this is out of the plastic now and it's N54, N55 and the S55 motor and yeah, I'm just going to have it stand like this and then I'm just going to put it over like so. Just that the way everything lines up. Yep, so we'll go ahead and put these into their spots. Tighten it down and we should be good to go. All right, so we all secured in now and I went ahead and put those bolts, that I, the extra bolts that I ordered into it. So looks pretty legit. It's tough. And yeah, it'll go pretty much like right here. At least I have the VTT uh, mount bracket assembled and everything came super satisfied with it so far. And I don't think I should have any problems with it. Uh, next time, I have to actually go to New York and tomorrow, so I'm not gonna be able to do anything else today. So at least I got that part done. So when I come back from New York, I'm gonna set up the engine stand and then put the other motor on it. Put the motor, put all the motors on stands, and I can start doing the switch back and forth of the parts and see what needs to be replaced. So mainly getting like the valve cover gasket, the oil pan gasket stuff of that nature and go ahead and swap all that stuff out before I even put the other motor back in. Cause I'd suck to put it back in and then have all these leaks and stuff like that. Many months later. First thing for today is I'm gonna put together this uh, engine stand and then pretty much put the motor over there on it and pretty much clean up this whole garage. Cause I've not had time to go ahead and clean this up. I literally just walk in and walk past it like every day for a couple months now. So sooner or later, I'm gonna have it ready to go back in. So I also wanna clean up the engine bay and all that and make sure everything is like copacetic. But yeah, first things first is gotta get this motor up off these chains and onto that engine stand. Comes the fun part, how to put all this up together. Shouldn't be too bad. Uh, it's only a few joints or whatever, plus the wheels and up here. So it shouldn't take too long, but yeah, I just kind of hate putting stuff together right now. And I think, believe it's one of the new styles too, compared to the old style Pittsburgh engine stands. I have an old one sitting in the corner, but yeah, this is completely different. All right, so this is where I got so far. And yeah, so far so good. But one thing I noticed was, this is the VTT N54, N55 and S55 uh, adapter that allows you to mount the engine pretty much sideways so it doesn't block this part of the motor. So 
this is the new one that came with the Pittsburgh engine mount, engine arm stand. And one thing I noticed is that this right here is too big. The diameter is too big. So yeah, won't fit. So on the new stand, this won't work with it at all. So you have to use the old stand. So if you have one of the old style stands like, like this, um, yeah, it will fit on here, these, these type. So the old style Harbor Freight engine stands, this will work with it. But on new style, it won't work. Anyways, thanks for tuning in and I'll see y'all in the next one.